Welcome to Gail's Garden Herbs and More. I just turned the water off, so it's kind of wet and dripping. Um, do you see the squash down there? We call that the fruit. It's the fruit of that plant. That one's been there a long time. Usually, that length of time, they're huge, but it's now not getting as much sun, so it's growing much slower. We still haven't had a freeze, of course, not here. But um, nevertheless, it's not getting as much sun. Well, there's a lot of things that can change the fruit. Uh, if you don't get as much, if it, this is the end of the season, it's used a lot of the um, vitamins and minerals and whatever plants use to make their fruit. My first two tomatoes I got off this were great big, and now they're smaller. Um, there just wasn't enough uh, nutrients in the soil. I didn't put compost on it this year. I did put a little bit of pellets, but no compost, and that's what plants really grow on. So now my tomatoes are a lot smaller for the end of the season, plus it was so hot and everything. So you see, everything affects your the fruit. Now I want to tell you about another fruit. Have you ever heard the expression, the fruit of the womb? Yeah, there's a lot of people that are taking the fruit too early in the womb right now. That And uh, that's really sad because they're not a literal fruit like these plants. They're a human being. But that's not exactly what I wanted to talk about today. I just heard a commercial. I have a, on my phone I have an app where you can set up your own music from the type of music that you want. So I have mine set up to play Christian music. But I still have to listen to occasional commercial unless you pay for it. And there's, I mean, everything, everybody wants money. And I just can't do that. So I have to put up with a few commercials. It's not too bad on commercials, but I have a few. I could not believe the commercial. I haven't listened to it in a while, but um, I was out working outside and decided I wanted to listen to some good God and music. But the commercial blew me away. And let me tell you what the commercial said, and then I'll tie that in with what I'm talking about, fruit of the womb and our children. It says, um, and this is called brainwashing, because they're hit throwing. I've seen some on the commercials on the Internet, too. Now they make me used to. I didn't have to listen to it on YouTube, but now they've started it, and some of them just are horrible. But and some of them are just very, um, uh, what would you call it, um, subliminal. But anyway, this one wasn't even subliminal; it was just out and out filthy. He says, uh, "Oh, I smell this this scent, and it's a wonderful scent. Whoa, where is it coming from? I've got to find it." And he says, "It might be that woman in that pink cardigan." Or it might be the gentleman over in that uh, suit, so-and-so suit sitting over there. Whoever it is, is my soulmate. Okay, did you catch that? Did you catch that? How horrible that is? Man or woman, it don't matter to him. Do you see what they're doing? Do you guys see what they're doing? Please share with others. Sometimes people hear this stuff and it doesn't even dawn on them. If you hear things over and over and over, you tend to start thinking that way and believing that way. We've got to get away from this stuff. We've got to. I very seldom listen to that app, but and that's why it caught me off guard. But I wanted to listen to some good godly music. And then that's what I hear. But some people, they listen to this stuff. They have their phone on constantly. And if it's not their phone, it's their radio and their TV. They never have it off. They fall asleep to it. And when they get up, they listen to it. And at the same time, they're being brainwashed. If it was just a once in a while occasional thing, it would take so long to brainwash people, they'd be dead and gone. But it's not. It's constant. And it is Ruining the fruit of our womb. It is ruining our children. Now, I could give a couple examples of a couple of children that I know personally that are now, um, one's in college and, well, they're both in college and I want you to start in college. And they have totally been ruined. I mean, I love them for who they are, you know, and their parents. Their parents are afraid to talk to them, afraid of, afraid of chasing them off because they just get in arguments so they don't want to argue and they just think they're going to grow out of it. But 
Well, how would they grow out of it? They've been raised on it. How you train your children is how they're going to be. And um, in general, sometimes there's always exceptions to the rule. <clears throat> but our children are being trained by the world, and we don't even know it. Yeah, think about the brainwashing that's going on. Think about what it takes to grow the fruit in your garden. We have to protect our plants. See, I'm protecting them from the, the evil white butterfly that comes and lays her eggs and the worms hatch and eat it. Okay, we have to protect our children from their minds being warped. Please, people, think about this. Wake up. We've got to wake up. Our children are being ruined. We've probably been, well, we have been affected more than we know. More than we know. Thankfully, when my kids were growing up, I took the TV away. We had no TV. We read. We read books. Um, and we listened to godly music. Um, I had a lot of records, a nice record player. Um, and commercials weren't so bad then. We could listen to a Christian station or, or anything. Usually Christian stations don't play that. This is just a station that you set up to play the music you want, but you have to listen to the worldly commercials, which I don't like. So I didn't, but I, commercials even on TV, they were bad back then. That's why I took the TV out, but now they're even worse. See how the morning sun is filtering through there? Still, the trees have grown over, and now with my um, RV over there blocking that sun, I'm going to have to get in here and clear out some of these branches off the trees so there can be more sun, so this area will grow better. We have to make sure our children have the right nourishment, the right things fed to them, the right environment. The fruit of our womb, our children. The fruit of our garden we do this with. What about our children? What about our children? Is there something blocking the sun in your children's lives? Maybe even in yours? Like that RV and the tree branches black, blocking the sun on my plants. There's another sun that shines in our life, and that's the S-O-N, the Son of God. Is it is His working, is His power being blocked in our lives because there's so much evil being allowed in? There's so much shade covering the darkness of the shade, the darkness of the world, covering us, covering our children? We better move that shade out of the way. We better cut it out so that the S-O-N can shine through. Because whether you want the S-O-N or not, your children are being ruined. They're going to suffer a lot if we don't do something. People, what about our children? What about our children?